Well, hi, I'm Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma for Hospitals and QI Macros. Uh, I was rereading Duran, and he was talking about how he misnamed the Pareto Principle, uh, but then it stuck. When he was in his mid-20s, as a young engineer, he observed uh, that quality defects are unequal in frequency. They seem to just be in specific places and so on. Employee absenteeism, causes of accidents, right? Mistakes and errors, vital few, trivial many. And so he gave, you know, this, he borrowed from Pareto, who was talking about distribution of wealth, but Duran was the first one to apply it to defects and mistakes and errors and waste-free work and so on. And so it's that unequal distribution to wealth also applies to quality losses. So, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a universal when he started, but then it became one. He said, if, if I'd have been a different person, I would have called it the Duran principle. And since then, I mean, I have found that, you know, as little as 4% of what you do produces over half the mistakes, errors, waste, rework, and lost profit. And I named that the 450 rule. But I also find that the 450 rule applies to a lot of other things in the world. Like you only need 4% of the knowledge to get 50% of the bang for the buck on things. Right? You don't need to know everything about Lean and Six Sigma to start doing Six Sigma projects. Right? A handful of tools, I call them the Magnificent Seven, will solve most of the problems you're going to face. And then at some point you're going to need to add some more tools. All right? But you don't need to know them all to get started. That's just silly. All right? <clears throat> it doesn't take, you know, uh, a math genius or you don't have to be Warren Buffett to get wealthy. Uh, the secret sauce is you take 10% of your income, you invest it. And if you're not Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett says invest it in a U.S. stock index fund. And it'll just start growing, right? And stock index funds outperform 90% of the actively managed funds. Guess what? That's all you need to know. 10% of your income, invest it. You can get wealthy. No matter how much money you make you will get there. So, that's my improvement insight for this week. There's the 80-20, you know, Pareto rule. There's the 450 Arthur rule, and you can apply that to anything. Defects, mistakes, and errors. Uh, you can apply that to knowledge about investing, Six Sigma, anything else you want to learn. You can get dramatic, uh, uh, things going with just a little bit of knowledge and so you know you don't need to know everything to do anything let's go out and improve something this week are you still using line bar and pie charts from the last century you might want to consider control charts Pareto charts and histograms smart charts for the 21st century